Good morning everybody. Today we're going to be preparing some fields for our fall quail hunts this season. So I'm going to be spending some time on the tractor with a disc uh, preparing the soil. What I wanted to talk about today is just the importance of hunters for um, wildlife conservation. Uh, w whenever we're out here hunting these animals a lot of times folks kind of associate hunters as being cruel and uh, not caring about animals but in truth hunters do more conservation they prepare uh, and improve more habitat than any other group of folks out there and so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be uh, breaking down some of these blackberry vines there on this property uh, there's some blackberry thickets that are 10 or 12 feet tall just way over your head just absolutely horrible uh, thickets and so I'm going to bust these things down with the old John Deere I'm going to disc this soil, uh, break that up a little bit, and then I'm going to be planting milo today, or grain sorghum. So this is an excellent cover crop for quail. It also comes to a, a nice head and has a good seed head for uh, all the animals to eat. Everything from dove, ducks, deer, quail, uh, all, the, all the other birds, squirrels, things like that will eat the heads off of this grain sorghum. So this is an excellent way to improve this land. I'm going to show you guys some of the land as we uh, get started and then some before and after uh, video as well. So this grain sorghum that I'm planting today typically does best when planted uh, with a seed drill about an inch to an inch and a half down. But what I'm going to do here is just uh, work this ground over with this disc really heavily, break it up really good since this hasn't been planted in years past. And then once I get this brown ground broken up good, we're going to come back through here with the broadcast seeder, uh, drag that behind the four-wheeler or the mule spread this seed out and then come back through here with this disc and just kind of tickle the ground uh, cover the, that seed up and put it about an inch to an inch, inch and a half under uh. what's up everybody I've got good and bad news today Came out to check on this Milo that I planted a few months back, did so much work on it and everything. Uh, I wanted to kind of give it a little while and just uh, see what was going to happen, not come out here every two days to check it. So here I am a few months later and the bad news is on a good portion of this property, the cows have absolutely decimated my crop. So they have stomped on it, they have eaten it, and they have pooped on it just to add insult to injury. 
So I was pretty disheartened about that, but I came over to a section where the fence blocks the cows. And y'all, look at this. I'm just thrilled to death right now. Look at this beautiful Milo coming up here, and it is spreading across this field. Just looking great. So there's lots of other native grasses in here that are looking awesome too. Uh, this field was full of green briar. It's still got uh, a good bit of green briar left in it, but it's significantly knocked down from how it was before. So this is going to be excellent. We'll probably mow a couple of walking strips through here to make it a little easier for the hunters. But when this stuff comes up, this is going to be such good cover. And I want to show you all this. Uh, let's see if I can find this one that I saw a minute ago. Ah, here it is. Look at this beautiful grain head on this thing. That's going to be excellent food for all the critters. And it's just such a cool thing to be a part of wildlife conservation. Um, this is obviously something that's going to help my business and help our, the success of our hunts, but it's also uh, this crop is going to be feeding so many animals and many animals that aren't even going to be hunted. Also, I'm super fired up for the fall hunting season. Definitely, you guys need to get on the books to come hunt with these awesome bird dogs and get out here and do some shotgun shooting with us. Uh, it's going to be a great time. So y'all check us out, teamswampstompllc.com. Find us on Facebook, YouTube. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, if you will, go ahead and subscribe. That'll keep you up to date on the things that we're posting and uh, up to date on more content as it comes out. So we sure lo love you guys. Appreciate y'all following us and keeping up with these uh, videos and our hunts and everything. And we'll keep you updated with the next uh, fun thing that we have going on.